I want to do a video today to show you a couple bags that I've purchased over the past few weeks. And the first one I'm going to show, I have debated on for quite a while. I have seen several videos, one of them by Potato Peach. And she always convinces me in her videos that the bags are great and that I should try them out. So I definitely wanted to check this one out. I've been looking at it for a while, like I said. And I was really in between this collar and one of the florals. But then I decided I do love camo and I have probably, I don't know how many, but several floral purses. So I thought I would do something a little bit different. I know that the other lug bags I bought, they've always been floral. So this pink camo did not disappoint. I love it. It's so pretty. I love the colors of the pink like a rosy pink and then the gray that's in it. And I think it's just a really pretty pattern and it looks really good on this bag. Just by looking at this, I'm gonna see, I know a lot of people's complaining about the pockets, but I can't tell. I don't know if this one is a little bit lower than the other side or if they are even, but I know a lot of people's been complaining, especially on the mini ranger bag that was another one that i liked but these are pretty close i would have to measure it i still think this side here is a little bit lower than this side like my finger fits there and then here there's room below my finger so i'm pretty sure this one's lower but i don't think it's too obvious i hope that doesn't bug me because things like that, bad stitching or anything like that is always going to bug me. But maybe once my stuff's in it, it won't be as obvious. Um, right here says lug on a little, I don't know if that's plastic probably or if it's metal. It does have the rubber straps. I know a lot of people complained about that because it would pull on their hair, which I do have longer hair. But hopefully, I mean, if I keep it back, it'll probably be okay. And hopefully that'll keep it on my shoulder. I'm glad that it's not slick because those always fall off my shoulder. It has a really nice back pocket. It's nice and long this way. And then you can always stand up a book in here. So I like that. I like having a lot of room in my pockets. Then on the ends, they have the magnetic pockets, and I really like how they stay flat to the purse. And then the front of the bag, she usually always has a lined pocket for your cell phone. And listen to that. It has a nice magnetic snap. And then these pockets, see I had the mini pedal jumper, and I loved that it had these pockets on the front. And this bag reminds me of the pedal jumper, but the pedal jumper was just too tall for me. I feel like all my stuff was really, really down low. And unless I would carry a sweater or something like that, I had a lot of empty space at the top where this one is more, would you call that east-west? Anyway, it's not as tall. So I really like that about the bag as well. On the inside, she has her signature clear pocket, and then there is a elastic pocket, a key fob holder or key clip, and then there are pen or lip gloss pockets. So this purse is really cute. I'm really glad that I got the camera rose. And look, the size is just perfect. It's a perfect medium size bag. The next one I'm gonna show is Kipling. I got on there looking for like a little bag to go inside my purse. I really wasn't looking for a purse, but I guess I'm always kind of checking out the new bags for spring and summer. And then I came across this. This is the Small Gabby. I've always loved a hobo bag. And what caught my eye for this one is it is red, white, and blue. I've always been into Americana things. My living room is decked out in all Americana decorations. And this just reminded me of that. Even the little patch here is red, white, and blue, which normally they're the same color as the bag. So I thought that was really pretty and makes it stand out. And around the zippers is red or maroon um, stitching. So it's white and then the all of the zippers are blue. 
And then, like I say, they're trimmed in the red, even on the back. And then there are end pockets, two of those that zip. This is a nice little zipper pocket here. And then, of course, the main little zipper pocket for the front. And the interior is also the stripe, so it's really nice. It's bright, you can see in it. I'm so glad it's not dark blue or black like a lot of bags are. There is a wall pocket, pin pockets, and then a zip wall pocket with the little label that says Kipling. And the bottom of the purse has a little bit, I'm not gonna say it's cardboard, but it does have a reinforcement, so it's not gonna be saggy. So I really like that as well. And then like my favorite part is the strap. It's even striped, red, white, and blue. <laughs> so that's really cute. Usually the straps are the color of the purse, and this one's just a little different. So that's why this one caught my eye. And this is definitely a super soft strap. I've never felt a Kipling strap this soft before. And the little, the little zipper pulls, they look like this. And then the one on the back and on the inside just has the star. So I thought these were really cute. I don't know if all of mine have this, maybe. That might be a standard zipper pull, but I think it's really cute. This one says Rethink, Rethink Recycled Fabric, and it is in the color Admiral Blue, and it just says Gabby S for Small Gabby, 100% recycled body fabric and lining. So that's really nice. So this is my Kipling Small Gabby, and my love in Camera Rose, and it's the Jumper Carry All Tote. So, thanks for watching. Bye.